All right, so in today's video, for the final video of NHL 23, I'm going to win every single franchise a Stanley Cup. Basically, what we're going to do is at the end of every single season that we simulate, we are going to remove the Stanley Cup winner. So once you won the Stanley Cup, you're gone. You can't win another one. And we are basically just going to go down the list until we find out the worst team in NHL 23. I'm willing to bet it's Arizona or Chicago. So basically, we're going to be here for 32 seasons going through the entire NHL, finding out the worst team and, of course, winning every franchise a Stanley Cup in the meantime. This is the last video that I'm going to be doing for NHL 23, boys. I want to go out with a bang. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you support it by liking it or subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. I'm stoked for NHL 24. I cannot wait. And without further ado, let's get right into the simulating for year number one. The first team that's going to get eliminated from the NHL is going to be... Let's find out. So at the end of year number one, somehow Calgary is going to finish as the best team in the NHL as they go 51, 27, and 4 followed by Colorado, Tampa Bay, Boston, and New York. At the bottom of the NHL, we have, of course, the Arizona Coyotes, the Anaheim Ducks, and somehow the Florida Panthers actually made it down here, finishing 30th in the NHL. Nathan McKinnon is going to lead the entire NHL in points with 119, followed by Miko Rantanen's 106. Bo Horvat had 101. Now, for goals, Ovi is going to lead all skaters with 59, leading the entire NHL, followed by Nathan McKinnon's 56. Matthews had 48. Bo Horvat, 45. And Rantanen's 44. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Nashville Predators versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. Who's going to go on and win the Stanley Cup in year number one, proving to be the best team in NHL 23? And the Nashville Predators are going to go on and be the best team in NHL 23 as they win the Stanley Cup in year number one, somehow actually beating the Tampa Bay Lightning in the Stanley Cup final, one of the best teams in the entire game. And Nashville, a team who I don't even believe they made the playoffs in real life this year, is going to go on and be the best team in the entire game. Game. And Nashville is going to be the first team eliminated from the NHL after they win the Stanley Cup in year number one. That is crazy. Did not expect that, but it did happen. So hats off to them. Here comes their captain, Roman Yossi, coming to get the Stanley Cup for the very first time in his career. And in year number one, Nashville will be the first team eliminated. They are gone, boys. They've already proven themselves. Now it's on to the 31 other teams left in the NHL. Nathan McKinnon is going to take on the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy while Alex Ovechkin is going to win the Maurice Richard. Rasmus Anderson is somehow going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing, the Barzell, and the Con Smythe, the Joe Hansen. Igor is going to win the Vezna, and the Selkie is going to go Sid the Kid, Crosby baby, somehow winning the Selkie over Bergeron, but whatever. At the end of year number two, Colorado is going to be the best team in the NHL, going 58-23-1, followed by Toronto, Minnesota, New York, and Boston. At the bottom of the NHL, yet again, we have Chicago, San Jose, and Anaheim. Arizona was also down there, and the Calgary Flames. The greatest player of all time in Nathan McKinnon is going to absolutely dominate as he leads in goals with 61 and points with 122. Followed by Bo Horvat's 107. Kaprizov had 102. Kucherov had 100. And for goals, other than McKinnon, Matthews had the most at 57. Followed by Kuch's 50. Ovi had 50. Kaprizov 46. And Pasta 44. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have a matchup that actually took place in real life this season in the playoffs between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Florida Panthers. Toronto is already up 1-0 in the series, but who's going to be the next team to get eliminated from the NHL, Toronto or Florida? Let's find out. And the Toronto Maple Leafs are not going to be a laughing stock, at least not for this video, as they are the second team to get eliminated from the NHL, right behind the Nashville Predators as they go on and beat Florida in the Stanley Cup Final. That is crazy. I honestly thought Toronto would be here for a while, but they are literally off the clock right away. I mean, they do have one of the best rosters in the entire NHL, so. And they are also going to end the 50 year over 50 year curse that they have with the Stanley Cup as they are going to win it here in year number two and there he is John E.T. lifting the Stanley Cup for the very first time in his career he left the Islanders for his hometown team and finally he gets to lift the Stanley Cup with them in year number two McKinnon is going to take home the Ted Lindsay the Maurice Richard the Art Ross and the Hart Trophy a clean sweep on all the awards followed by John Carlson winning the Norris the Lady being the Kucherov and the Con Smite to Tyler to Foley what the hell Linus Allmark is going to win the Vesna, and the Selkie is going to go to Sean Couturier. So for year number three, yet again, Colorado is going to be the best team in the NHL, at least for the regular season, as they go 53, 19, and 10, followed by Carolina. At the bottom of the NHL, we have the St. Louis Blues, the Vancouver Canucks, and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Chicago was also down there in LA. Leon Dreisaitl is going to lead the entire league in scoring with 109 points, followed by Sidney Crosby's 107. Connor McDavid had 103. Nathan McKinnon, 100. 
Mundo. And for goals, Pasternak is going to lead the way with 50 goals on the season, followed by McDavid with 48, Marshawn 47, and McKinnon 47. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa was already here in year number one and could not get it done. So who is going to go on and get eliminated from the NHL next here in year number three? And the next team to get eliminated from the NHL is going to be the Tampa Bay Lightning. Realistically, they should have got it done in year number one, but they choked to Nashville. But here in year number three, they are going to beat the Pittsburgh Penguins in the Stanley Cup final as they are going to finish as the third best team in the entire NHL or in the entire NHL 23 at least. But I mean, I'm not that surprised. They're one of the better rosters in the entire NHL. And here comes their captain, Steven Stamkos, who might not even get extended in real life after this season. What is going on, Tampa Bay? Why are you not going to resign this man? Regardless, does not matter because he's yet again going to win the Stanley Cup for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Sidney Crosby is going to win the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard DePasta, and the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy, the Leon Dreisaitl, the big German baby. The Norris is going to go to Brent Burns, the Lady Bing DePasta, and the Khan Smite to Kucherov. Vanacek is going to win the Vesna, and the Selkie is going to go to Anze Kopitar. So at the end of year number four, the New York Rangers are going to be the best team in the NHL as they go 54, 22, and 6, followed by Carolina, New Jersey, Colorado, and Boston. Connor McDavid is going to lead the league in points with 109, followed by Leon Dreisaitl's 104, Johnny Hockey had 103, and for goals, Patrick Kane is going to lead the way with 57 goals at age 34, which is insane. I don't know why he simulates so goddamn well in this game, but he does. Followed by Connor McDavid's 50, Ovechkin at 48, McKinnon 44, and Patrick Reddy was up there with 43. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the New York Rangers versus the Colorado Avalanche. Now it's time to find out who is going to be the next team eliminated from the NHL in the video, New York or Colorado. Let's find out. And the next team to get eliminated from the NHL is going to be the New York Rangers as they absolutely dominate Colorado in the Stanley Cup final in four games, a clean sweep. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised that it's taken New York this long to get eliminated. I thought they were going to be like one or two maybe because they are one of the better simulating teams in the entire game. They win a lot of Stanley Cups for me during my simulations, even though in real life they got what, bounced in the first round by the Devils. I mean, last season was not that embarrassing, but it was this season that was really bad when they lost to the Devils. They made the Eastern Conference Finals in 2022 against Tampa, so that's not bad at all. But regardless, there is Jacob Truba, the best captain in the NHL, lifting the Stanley Cup for the very first time. Johnny Hockey is going to take home the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy, while the Art Ross, the Connor McDavid, and the Maurice Richard to Patrick Kane. Adam Fox is going to take home the Norris, the Lady Bing to Patty Kane, and the Conn Smythe also to Adam Fox. Demko is going to win the Vesna, and the Selkie is going to go to Alexander Barkov. So we are five years in, and Colorado is still the best team in the NHL as they go 52, 20, and 10, despite not winning a single Stanley Cup yet, even though they finished as the best team like three times so far. Nathan McKinnon is going to absolutely dominate yet again as he leads in goals with 63 and points with 130, all by Miko Rantanen's 113. Elias Pedersen had 107, McDavo 106, and Landy 102. And for goals, other than McKinnon, it was Rantanen with the most at 55, followed by Ovi's 48, Marshawn had 47, and Thompson 46. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Boston Bruins versus the Colorado Avalanche. Colorado here yet again, but who is going to go on and be the next team eliminated from the NHL? And Colorado is going to get the revenge over last season as they are the next team that is going to be eliminated from the NHL. It would end up losing last year to the New York Rangers, but are going to defeat the Boston Bruins this year in the Stanley Cup final. And here comes their captain, Gabriel Landeskog, who most likely is going to miss the next two seasons of hockey, which is rough with one of the worst knee injuries that you can have. He's got major knee surgery up ahead of him. I think he might have already got it done, but regardless, Captain Landy lifting the Stanley Cup yet again for a second time as Colorado is gone from the NHL. Yet again, McKinnon is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy. The Norris is going to go to Kale McCarr, the Lady Bing to your mom's a hoe, and the Conn Smythe, of course, to McKinnon. Tristan Jari is going to win the Vesna, and the Selkie is going to go to Anze Kopitar yet again. Predictably, Boston is going to finish as the best team in the NHL as they go 57, 22, and 3, followed by Edmonton, Vancouver, Buffalo, and Carolina. Brad Marchand is actually going to lead the entire NHL in points with 104, followed by Sidney Crosby's 103, Leon Dreisaitl 101. Now for goals, Crosby is going to lead the entire NHL in goals at age 35 with 47 goals, followed by Ovi's 46, Marchand 45, Dreisaitl 45, and Bruce Jenner 43. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Seattle Kraken versus the Minnesota Wild. Not a matchup that I expected to see, but nonetheless, 
here we are. Who is the next team to be eliminated from the NHL? And the Seattle Kraken are going to be the next team that is going to get eliminated from the NHL as they go on and beat Minnesota in the Stanley Cup Finals to capture their very first Stanley Cup in franchise history. I'm honestly surprised that Seattle is this high on the list. There's still some pretty good teams out there still in the NHL like the Edmonton Oilers, for example, that have not won a Stanley Cup yet. So I'm surprised that Seattle got here so quickly. But regardless, here they are. And here is Yanni Gore to come collect the Stanley Cup for the Seattle Kraken. Wow, I would not have expected Yanni Gore to come up here. Maybe Jordan Everly, but Yanni Gord? Regardless, there he is lifting the Stanley Cup for the Seattle Kraken, their very first Stanley Cup in franchise history. Brad Marchand is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy, while Sidney Crosby is going to win the Maurice Richard. Quinn Hughes is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing, the Pasta, and the Conn Smythe, the Jarrett McCann. The Vesna, the Linus Allmark, and the Selkie is going to go to Anze Kopitar yet again. Yet again, the Boston Bruins are going to be the best team in the NHL, despite not winning a Stanley Cup yet, which is surprising, considering they have one of the best rosters in the entire game. Followed by Carolina, Anaheim was up there, Vegas, and Ottawa. Mark Scheifele is going to end up leading the entire NHL on points with 99. Nobody would even crack 100. Followed by Crosby's 96, Pasta 96, Bergeron had 95, and Dreisaitl 93. Now for goals, Alex Ovechkin is still going to light the lamp with 49 goals, leading the league. Followed by Jack Eichel's 45, Dabrinkit had 45, and Matthew Kachuk 42. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Boston Bruins versus the Carolina Hurricanes. Let's see who's going to be the next team to be removed from the NHL. And the Carolina Hurricanes are the next team to be eliminated from the NHL as they dominate Boston in the Stanley Cup final, winning the closeout game 8-2, an absolute decimation. And the Boston Bruins are straight down bad right now. How are they not out of here yet? They have one of the better rosters in the entire game. They simulate very well as also, very well as also. What the hell am I even saying? But I mean, bye-bye Carolina as they are the next team gone from the NHL, erased in its entirety. There's the Stanley Cup, of course. And here comes Jordan Stahl, who is on my arch nemesis, the Carolina Hurricanes, coming to collect the Stanley Cup for, I believe, the second time. He won one with Pittsburgh, I believe, in 2009. And he's won another here with Carolina as they have gone on to win the Stanley Cup in year number seven. David Pasternak is going to take home the Selkie and the Hart Trophy, while the Art Ross to Mark Scheifele and the Maurice Richard to Ovi. Eric Carlson is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing also to Eric Carlson, and the Conn Smythe to Brent Burns. Freddie Anderson is going to win the Vesna, and the Selkie is going to go to Sidney Crosby. So, yet again, Boston is going to finish as the best team in the NHL, followed by the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Vancouver Canucks, Dallas was up there, and also Detroit, the Red Wings, okay. Connor McDavid is going to absolutely dominate as he leads in goals with 53 and points with 118, followed by Leon Dreisettles, 110, Pasta had 106. Now, for goals, other than McDavid, Ovi had the most at 48, followed by Pasta's 46, Marshawn 45, and Dabrinkit 44. And in the Stanley Cup final, yet again, the Boston Bruins have made it. They are going to play the Minnesota Wild, who has also made a Stanley Cup final during the video. So let's go ahead and see which team is the next team to be eliminated from the NHL. And the Minnesota Wild are the next team to get eliminated from the NHL as they defeat the Boston Bruins in the Stanley Cup final. Honestly, it's pretty embarrassing at this point that Boston can not get it done. They've now choked in what three straight Stanley Cup finals? Not three straight, but they've been three in the entire video so far. As the Minnesota Wild are gonna get it done over Boston in the Stanley Cup final. God damn, Boston. You guys just continue to choke year after year. And here comes Jared Spurgeon coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the very first time in his career. Minnesota, I don't believe, has a Stanley Cup in their franchise's history. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. So finally they have got one for their franchise as they are the next team eliminated. Connor McDavid is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy. The Norris is going to go to Quinn Hughes, the Lady Bing to Pasta, the Conn Smite to Kaprizov, the Vesna to Jake Ottinger, and the Selkie is going to go to Bo Horvat. The Florida Panthers are actually going to end up finishing as the best team in the NHL, followed by the Boston Bruins, who are still here somehow. New Jersey was up there, Vegas and Ottawa. David Pasternak is going to lead the entire NHL in points with 100, followed by Brad Marchand's 99. Patterson had 90 98, Malkin 97, and Crosby 97. Now for goals, Brad Marchand is going to lead the way with 48 goals, followed by Malkin's 46, McDavo had 43, Kachuk 43, and Troy Terry 41. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the classic matchup, OV versus Sid between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Washington Capitals. And just like they did the last time they played in the playoffs,
playoffs, Washington is going to get the better of the Pittsburgh Penguins as they go on to win the Stanley Cup. Honestly, kind of surprised by this. Washington does not have that great of a roster in this game. I mean, technically in real life, they were injured. So overall, they're going to be one of the higher teams to get eliminated from the NHL winning that Stanley Cup. As the Pittsburgh Penguins are going to have to yet again go back to the drawing board as they're not going to get eliminated and they're going to lose on home ice to their arch rival, the Washington Capitals. The last two times that Washington beat Pittsburgh in the playoffs and the only two times they have gone on to win a Stanley Cup. There is Ovi and all of his gray hairs lifting the cup for the second time in his career as Washington now is gone from the NHL. Timmy Stu is going to take on the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy while the Art Ross to Pasta and the Maurice Richard to Brad Marchand. Chris Letang is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing to Pedersen and the Con Smythe to Tom Wilson. The Vesna to Connor Hellebuck and the Selkie is going to go to Alexander Barkov. Surprisingly enough, Calgary is actually back up there as the best team in the NHL, followed by the Ottawa Senators, Florida, Philadelphia, and Edmonton were all up there. At the bottom, we have Montreal, Arizona, and LA. Leon Dreisaitl is going to lead the entire NHL in goals with 45 and points with 110. Followed by McDavid's 101, Clayton Keller had 100. Zach Hyman was up there, Marshawn, and Nikolai Ehlers. Now for goals, other than Leon, Patrick Laine had the most at 43, followed by Marshawn's 40, Jack Hughes 39, and Kyle Connor 37. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Dallas Stars versus the Edmonton Oilers. Finally, Edmonton has made it. Let's see who is going to be the next team to get removed. And the next team that is going to get eliminated from the NHL is going to be the Edmonton Oilers. They are finally gone. I was worried that it was going to take a lot longer than this, but I've literally been waiting since the start of the video to get these guys out of here. These are my favorite teams. McDavid's my favorite player, so thank God we are finally out of here as we beat Dallas in the Stanley Cup final. And the Stanley Cup is going to be raised in Edmonton for the first time since literally the 80s since Wayne Gretzky won it with the Oilers, but now it's Connor McDavid's time. Speaking of the devil, here he is himself coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the very first time in his career as the Edmonton Oilers are the next team to be gone from the NHL for good. They are kicked out no longer valid. Leon Dreisaitl is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy. Ryan Ellis is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing to Kyle Connor, and the Conn Smythe to Dreisaitl. The Vesna to Tristan Jari, and the Selkie is going to go to Sean Couturier yet again. The Vegas Golden Knights are going to end up finishing as the best team in the NHL, followed by the Boston Bruins, who are still here, New Jersey, Buffalo, and San Jose? How the hell did San Jose make it top five in the entire NHL? That's just absolutely wild. Pasta is going to lead the entire NHL in goals with 51 and points with 94. Followed by Jason Robertson's 92. Crosby had 90. Kachuk 87 and Bergeron 87. Now for goals other than Pasta, Kadri is going to come in second place with 41 goals followed by Brad Marchand's 41. Robertson 37 and Crosby 37. And in the Stanley Cup final we have the Winnipeg Jets versus the Calgary Flames. Who is going to be the next team that will get removed? And the Calgary Flames are going to be the next team eliminated or removed from the NHL as they go on and beat Winnipeg in the Stanley Cup final. And a year after Edmonton does it, the other half of Alberta gets it done and are also gone from the NHL. And there it is, the Stanley Cup being raised in Calgary for the first time in a long ass time. I believe they only have one Stanley Cup in their franchise's history, so Flames fans are going to be very happy seeing their team lift the Stanley Cup. Here's Elias Lindholm coming to collect it as the Calgary Flames are now gone from the NHL removed moved in their entirety. No longer here. Jason Robertson is going to win the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy while the Art Ross and Maurice Richard are going to go to David Pasternak. Eric Carlson is going to win the Norris yet again. The Lady Bing to Pasta and the Con Smite to Kadri. Merz Lincolns is going to win the Vesna and the Selkie is going to go yet again to Sid the Kid. Now the New York Islanders are actually going to end up finishing first in the NHL winning 50 games followed by the Vegas Golden Knights, the Boston Bruins, the Ottawa Senators, and the New Jersey Devils. Yes, Boston is still here despite having like one of the best if not the best record in the game. I mean their overall roster is stacked so they should not be here right now. Alexander Barkov is going to lead the league in scoring with 102 points followed by Jack Eichel's 95, Kachuk 93, Mark Stone had 93 and Pasta's 92. Now for goals Cole Caulfield is going to lead the way with 47 goals followed by Jamie Benz 44, Kachuk 43 and Bo Horvat 42. And in the Stanley Cup final we have the Boston Bruins versus the Florida Panthers there's a rematch of what actually happened in real life in round number one. Now we all know that Boston blew a 3-1 lead to Florida, but are they going to get eliminated from the NHL winning the Stanley Cup or is Florida yet again going to prove an upset?
that. And the Florida Panthers are the next team to get removed from the NHL as they upset Boston yet again, this time in the Stanley Cup final. This is absolutely crazy, boys. I have no idea what to say right now. Boston should not be in the NHL right now. This is like their third or fourth time in the Stanley Cup final, still yet to win one. I am literally at a loss for words, but regardless, the Stanley Cup is going to go to the Florida Panthers as yet again, they're going to beat down on the Boston Bruins. They basically own the Bruins at this point. I don't want to hear anything else about that. And here comes Alexander Barkov coming to do what he could not do in real life this past season, win a Stanley Cup with Florida as they are the next team gone from the NHL here in our final video of NHL 23. Barkov is going to win the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy, while Cole Caulfield is going to win the Maurice Richard. The Norris is going to go to Alex Petrangelo, the Lady Bing to Pasta, and the Con Smythe also to Barkov. The Vesna is going to go to Linus Allmark, and the Selkie is going to go to Alexander Barkov. Very predictable, but Barkov had one hell of a season here. So as we move along here, New Jersey is going to be the best team in the NHL, followed by the Islanders, the Boston Bruins, who are somehow still here. They choked last season to the Florida Panthers. Vegas is here, and Buffalo as well. Johnny Hockey is going to lead the entire NHL in points with 106, followed by Jason Robertson's 98. Evgeny Malkin was up there with 97. Crosby, 93. And Bo Horvat, 89. Now for goals, yet again, Brad Marchand is going to lead the way with 46 goals, followed by Crosby's 44. Malkin also had 44. Johnny Hockey was up there. Patrick Laine and Jason Robertson. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Vegas Golden Knights versus the Vancouver Canucks. Still no Boston Bruins to be found, but that does not matter. Now it's time to find out who is the next team to get eliminated. Let's find out. And the Vancouver Canucks now are gone. They are out of here as they beat the Vegas Golden Knights in the Stanley Cup final. I believe it was in five games. Regardless, they absolutely dominated them. It was not even close, and they are the next team gone from the NHL. Good old Vancouver, baby. Can't make the playoffs in real life, but they are going to win a Stanley Cup in NHL 23. The most mid team ever, I swear to God, every single year. They always end up finishing just outside of a playoff spot. Not bad enough for a first overall pick, but not good enough to get in the playoffs. And there is the Stanley Cup being raised to the Vancouver Canucks. Something that I did not ever think would come out of my mouth, but here we are. There is Elias Pettersson going to collect the Stanley Cup. Who knows if he's even going to be a Vancouver Canuck after this season. I don't know if they're going to resign him or what's going on with that, but regardless, there he is lifting the Stanley Cup for the very first time. Johnny Hockey is going to win the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy, while Brad Marchand is going to win the Maurice Richard. Norris is going to go to Quinn Hughes, the Lady Bing, also to Johnny Goodrow, and the Con Smythe to JT Miller, the best teammate in the history of the NHL. Are you sure about that? Vanacek is going to take home the Vesna yet again, and the Selkie is going to go to Bo Horvat. And yet again, there is the Boston Bruins at the top of the NHL, followed by the Ottawa Senators, the Dallas Stars, Buffalo is up there, and San Jose. Okay, did not expect San Jose finishing top five in the NHL, but I'm going to take it. Jason Robertson is going to lead the NHL in points with 108. Actually, him and Tage Thompson would each tie at 108, followed by Brad Marchand's 97, passed ahead 95, and Rope Hints 91. And for goals, Brad Marchand yet again is going to going to lead the way this time with 53 goals followed by Jeff Skinner's 47. Robo had 44 and passed to 44. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Dallas Stars versus the St. Louis Blues. I believe Dallas was already here when they played Edmonton and Edmonton got out. They beat them in the Stanley Cup final, so Dallas needs the revenge here. So who's going to be the next team gone, boys? Let's find out. And the Dallas Stars are going to defeat the St. Louis Blues in the Stanley Cup final as they are the next team that is banned from the NHL. Well, I mean, not banned, but the next team gone as they have captured Lord Stanley, the Stanley Cup. I mean, the St. Louis Blues have what, like six fans maybe? I've never seen a St. Louis fan in my entire life. There's the Stanley Cup being presented to Dallas. And here comes their captain, Jamie Benn, doing what he could not do in 2020 or 2023 for that matter, lifting the Stanley Cup for, I believe, the first time in franchise history. I'm not that certain on that. I feel like they have one Stanley Cup, but I might be wrong. Regardless, they are gone. See you later. Get out of here. Tage Thompson is going to take on the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy, while the Art Ross to Jason Robertson and the Maurice Richard to Brad Marchand. Charlie McAvoy is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing to Pasta, and the Con Smite to Robo. The Vesna again to Linus Allmark, and the Selkie is going to go to Bo Horvat yet again. So somehow the Anaheim Ducks are going to end up finishing as the best team in the NHL as they go 52, 25, and 5. That might be their greatest regular season in franchise history, I swear to God. Followed by the New Jersey Devils, the Boston Bruins, Montreal was up there, and Pitt 
Pittsburgh. At the bottom of the NHL, sadly, we still have the Chicago Blackhawks. Some things never change. David Pasternak is going to light the NHL on fire, leading in goals with 50 and points with 100. Followed by Johnny Hockey's 97, Crosby had 96, Shifley 94, and Trevor Zegers 91. Now for goals, other than Pasta, Patrick Line had the most at 41, followed by Zegers' 39, Timo Meyer had 39, and Alex Dabrinkit 38. Marshawn was also up there. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the highly anticipated matchup that is the Boston Bruins versus the Anaheim Ducks. I think we all know what's going to happen here. And somehow, yet again, the Boston Bruins are going to lose in the Stanley Cup final, this time to the Anaheim Ducks, as yet again, Boston is going to choke in the Stanley Cup final. <laughs> this is the funniest, longest running joke of the video so far. I've never seen anything quite like it. I mean, Boston is one of the best rosters in the NHL. Boston literally just continues to lose to inferior teams that are clearly worse than them, but somehow they cannot get it done in the Stanley Cup final. They choke on the biggest moment possible. And here comes the captain of the, actually, they don't have a captain, the assistant captain, number 77. Who the hell is this guy? Or Sammy Vatnin. I don't even know, boys. Regardless, he's coming to get the Stanley Cup for the first time since like 2008 when Ryan Getzlaff, Corey Perry, all those guys were on the team. I believe Scott Niedemeyer as well. Pasta is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy. The Norris is going to go to Charlie McAvoy, the Lady Bing, the Johnny Hockey, and the Con Smite to cover boy Trevor Zegris. Okay. Linus Allmark is going to win the Vesna, and the Selkie is going to go to Anze Kopitar. Okay. Yet again, Boston is going to be the best team in the NHL. They finished first like six or seven times already. It's been a lot regardless. Still no Stanley Cup victory though, followed by the Buffalo Sabres. Philly was up there, St. Louis, and Winnipeg. Boston, man, you guys are so much better than literally every team here, but you still can't get it done for God knows whatever reason. Yet again, Pasta is going to lead the NHL in points with 101, followed by Jack Hughes at 98, Tage Thompson had 96, and Jesper Bratt, 91. Now for goals, yet again, Marshawn is going to lead the way with 47, followed by Jeff Skinner's 41, Line A 40, and Pasta 40. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Boston Bruins versus the Buffalo Sabres. If Boston actually loses in the Stanley Cup final, the Buffalo, I don't even know what I'm going to say. And the Buffalo Sabres are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup. Yes, beating Boston in the Stanley Cup final. I have no idea how they did it. I have no idea how Boston continues to choke in the Stanley Cup final. As the great fighting theories would say, Boston is a shithouse. And there you have it. Boston shaking hands yet again on the losing side. I don't think I've ever seen a team choke harder than the Boston Bruins have done this video. They can't even beat Buffalo or Anaheim in the Stanley Cup final. Like, what is that? The two worst teams? One of the two worst teams in the entire NHL. There's Kyle Ogposa, the captain. Honestly, I did not even know he was their captain, boys. But there he is, lifting the Stanley Cup for the Buffalo Sabres, who I believe have never won a Stanley Cup in franchise history. David Pasternak is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy, while Brad Marchand is going to win the Maurice Richard. Ryan Ellis is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing, the Pasta, and the Con Smite to Tage Thompson. The Vesna is going to go to Cam Talbot, and the Selkie is going to go to Bo Horvat yet again. The New York Islanders are going to finish first in the NHL, followed by the Boston Bruins, the St. Louis Blues, Pittsburgh was up there, and the Philadelphia Flyers. Sidney Crosby is going to lead the NHL in points with 99. Shout out Wayne Gretzky, followed by Bo Horvat's 92. Pasta had 89. And for goals, Bo Horvat is actually going to lead the way with 42 goals, followed by Konechny's 41. Crosby had 40 and Pasta 37. Okay, I literally kid you not, I messed up because I forgot the playoffs start a lot sooner now that we have less teams in the NHL. So, in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Boston Bruins versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Boston is up 3-0. Can they finally do it? Can they get it done? And the Boston Bruins have finally gone on to win a Stanley Cup, getting removed from the NHL in their entirety. I mean, it's taken them 17 goddamn years to get here. 17 teams went ahead of them. I never would have thought of that in a million years, that 17 NHL teams could win a Stanley Cup before the Boston Bruins. I mean, they made the Stanley Cup final, what, like eight or nine times throughout the video? They've been there a lot regardless. And sadly, they're not going to get it done on home ice. That's because they choked so many times in the Stanley Cup final. They have choked harder than Mia Khalifa in any one of her videos. If you know, you know. Now there he is, Patrice Bergeron lifting the Stanley Cup for the Boston Bruins. The second time in his career, I believe they won one back in 2011. Right, yes, the riots in Vancouver. Sidney Crosby is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy, while the Maurice Richard is going to go to Bo Horvat. Ryan Ellis, yet again, is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing to Kyle Connor, and the Con Smite to the Rat, Brad Marchand. Jordan Binnington is going to win the Vesna, and the Selkie is going to go to Sid the Kid, Sidney Crosby, baby. Now we have the Montreal Canadiens finishing first in the NHL, followed by the Ottawa Senators. The Devils were up there, Vegas and Arizona. 
Arizona. Unfortunately, from here on out, only four teams are going to make the playoffs every single year. So Jack Hughes is going to lead the entire NHL in points with 94, followed by Johnny Hockey's 93, Bo Horvat had 93, and Jack Eichel 91. Now for goals, Patrick Line is going to light the lamp with 49 tucks on the season, followed by Jack Eichel's 45, Shifley had 40, and Crosby 40 as well. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Montreal Canadiens versus the New Jersey Devils. Let's see who is going to go on and take home that Stanley Cup, also being removed in the same exact manner from the NHL. What am I even saying at this point? And the Montreal Canadiens are the next team eliminated as they defeat the New Jersey Devils in the Stanley Cup final. I believe in six games, they got it done. They were the better team, even though in real life, New Jersey technically has a better roster and are a better overall team. Somehow in EA Sports' NHL 23 simulation, Montreal is going to beat them. And right after their arch rivals in the Boston Bruins, the Montreal Canadiens are going to win the Stanley Cup, also being removed from the NHL. What a sight to see. Here comes Montreal, Nick Suzuki lifting the Stanley Cup. Montreal has not won a Stanley Cup since 1993, the last Canadian team to do so. And there they are winning the Stanley Cup in NHL 23. Jack Hughes is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy, while Patrick Laine is going to take home the Maurice Richard. Dougie Hamilton is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing, Nicole Caulfield, and the Conn Smythe to Kirby Dock. Vesna yet again to Cam Talbot and the Selkie is going to go to Anze Kopitar. Now the New Jersey Devils are going to be the best team in the NHL finishing first with 49 wins followed by San Jose, Vegas and Pittsburgh. Johnny Hockey is going to lead the NHL in points with 96 followed by Mark Shifley's 94. Timmy Stu had 92 and Brady Kachuk had 90. Now for goals, Kyle Connor is going to lead the way. Actually it's going to be a three-way tie between Kyle Connor, Debrinkit and Johnny Hockey. All had 36 apiece. Followed by Logan Couture's 35, Dylan Larkin 35 and Brady Kachuk 35 and in the Stanley Cup final we have the New Jersey Devils versus the Vegas Golden Knights let's see who's going to go on and win the Stanley Cup being eliminated in the process and the New Jersey Devils have gone on to win the Stanley Cup beating the Vegas Golden Knights in the Stanley Cup final and they are the next team that has been eliminated from the NHL hats off to New Jersey man honestly I thought they'd be here a little sooner than they were actually because overall their roster is actually pretty decent but I mean I guess the inexperience and the youth really hurt them here but I mean they are going to go on and defeat the actual Stanley Cup champions that did win it in real life this season in the Vegas Golden Knights so hats off to them and there it is the Stanley Cup they have not won a Stanley Cup I believe since like 2003 back in the Martin Brodeur era there's their captain Nico Heischer lifting the cup for the very first time in his career Mark Shifley is going to win the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy while Johnny Hockey is going to win the Art Ross and the Maurice Richard the Norris is going to go to Chris Letang the Lady Bing to Johnny Hockey and the Conn Smite to Jesper Bratt. The Vesna is going to go to Connor Hellebuck and the Selkie is going to go to Sidney Crosby. Now the Pittsburgh Penguins are going to be at the top of the NHL winning 55 games followed by the Philadelphia Flyers, the St. Louis Blues and the Winnipeg Jets. Every other team did not make the playoffs. Sidney Crosby is going to lead the NHL in goals with 43 and points with 98 followed by Johnny Hockey's 90. Mark Shifley had 85 and Jack Eichel 84. And for goals in the NHL other than Crosby, Line had the most to 39 followed by Giroux's 39 Eichel 37 and Jacob Voracek's 36 and in the Stanley Cup final we have the Winnipeg Jets versus the St. Louis Blues let's simulate and see who goes on to capture that Stanley Cup and the Winnipeg Jets are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup being eliminated in the process as they defeat the St. Louis Blues in the Stanley Cup final finally Winnipeg is out of there it was not looking good for a while considering they simulate pretty well overall I mean we've seen like Mark Shifley Kyle Connor Nick Nikolai Ehlers absolutely dominate some simulations, so. And here comes their assistant captain, Josh Morrissey, coming to collect the Stanley Cup for the very first time in his career, and also the very first time in franchise history, as the Winnipeg Jets are now Stanley Cup champions. Crosby is literally going to take home all the awards, the Selkie, the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy. Latang is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing, the Johnny Hockey, and the Conn Smite to Mark Shifley, and the Vesna is going to go to Carter Hart. Now Philadelphia is going to be at the top of the NHL, followed by the LA Kings, the Ottawa Senators, and the San Jose Sharks. Wow, it is very good to see San Jose finally make the playoffs and get a shot at winning the Stanley Cup. Every other team, though, unfortunately, is not going to make the playoffs. Johnny Goudreau is going to lead the NHL in points with 103, followed by Sid the Kids, 89, Line A, 88, Anze Kopitar, 87, and Barzell, 86. Now, for goals, Jack Eichel is going to lead the way with 40, followed by Patrick Line's 39, Lucas Raymond, 38, and Robert Thomas, 35. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Philadelphia Flyers versus the Ottawa Senators. Let's
let's simulate and see who goes on to win the Stanley Cup. And the Philadelphia Flyers are going to be the next team eliminated as they defeat the Ottawa Senators in the Stanley Cup final. Overall, Philly doesn't have the greatest team, but they are going to get it done. Still with teams like Vegas, who actually won the Stanley Cup in real life. Pittsburgh is still here also. But I mean, I guess the Philadelphia Flyers are going to go all the way with Rasmus Risto Linen on their team as their leading D-man, I think. Regardless, here comes their assistant captain, number nine. I believe that's Sean Couturier. No, it's Ivan Provorov. Never mind. I was wrong there. Regardless, there he is lifting the Stanley Cup for the Philadelphia Flyers as they are now gone from the NHL. Johnny Gaudreau is going to win the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy, while Jack Eichel is going to take home the Maurice Richard. Eric Carlson is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bigna Johnny Hockey, and the Conn Smite to Ryan Ellis. The Vesna is going to go to Cam Talbot, and the Selkie is going to go to Sidney Crosby. The Islanders are going to finish as the top team in the NHL, followed by the Pittsburgh Penguins, Ottawa, and Arizona. Arizona finally making the playoffs for, I believe, the first time in the video. Matthew Barzell is going to lead the league in points with 101, followed by Bo Horvat's 99, Sid the Kid at 93, Johnny Hockey 87, and Jordan Cairo 86. Now if we look at goals here, Bo Horvat is going to lead the way with 46, followed by Line's 41, Malkin 34, and Crosby and Eichel each at 33 apiece. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the New York Islanders versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Who is going to go on and capture that Stanley Cup? And the New York Islanders are the next team to get eliminated as they defeat the Pittsburgh Penguins in the Stanley Cup Final. Poor Pittsburgh, man. They've been here like four or five times already in the Stanley Cup Final. Still have yet to get it done. They have been choking just like Boston did for all those years during the video. But hats off to New York, man. Getting it done. Winning the Stanley Cup for the first time since like the 80s. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Not a lot of teams left in the NHL. Here comes their captain, Andres Lee, coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the very first time in his career as the Islanders are Stanley Cup champions. Sidney Crosby is going to take home the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy while the Art Ross to Matthew Barzell and the Maurice Richard to Bo Horvat. The Norris to Petrangelo, the Lady Bing to Matthew Barzell and the Con Smite to Andrew Cobb. The Vesna is going to go to Sorokin and the Selkie is going to go to Bo Horvat. Vegas now is going to finish as the best team in the NHL, followed by the LA Kings. Pittsburgh was up there and the Ottawa Senators. Everybody else did not make the playoffs. Jack Eichel is going to lead the way with 55 goals, leading in goals and leading in points with 96, followed by Evgeny Malkin's 96. Crosby was up there with 95. Kopitar, 90. And Kevin Fiala, 88. And for goals, other than Jack Eichel, Crosby had the most at 43, followed by Malkin's 39 and Arvidsson, 35. And in the Stanley Cup Final, we have the Ottawa Senators versus the LA Kings, who is going to go on and capture that Stanley Cup. And the nation's capital of Ottawa are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup, being eliminated from the NHL in the process as they defeat the LA Kings in the Stanley Cup Final. I believe even six games i don't really know but it doesn't really matter because they are stanley cup champions and they are the next team that is going to be gone eliminated out of here sayonara see you later whatever the hell you want to say as ottawa is going to get their very first stanley cup in franchise history technically a different ottawa senators won the stanley cup way back in like the 30s or the 20s and 19 whatever but this franchise of the ottawa senators have never won a stanley cup but there's their captain brady kachub lifting it for the very first time in his career and of course the very first time in franchise history. Jack Eichel is going to win the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy. The Norris is going to go to Shea Theodore, the Lady Bing, to Victor Arvidsson, and the Con Smite, the Claude Giroux. The Vesna yet again is going to go to Cam Talbot, and the Selkie is going to go to Anze Kopitar. All right, boys, there's only nine teams left in the NHL. Vegas is going to finish first, followed by Pittsburgh, Arizona, and LA. Every other team did not make the playoffs. You already know the drill. Sidney Crosby is going to lead the NHL in points with 102, followed by Evgeny Malkin's 97, Clayton Keller was up there at 90, Jack Eichel 87, and Johnny Hockey 87. Now for goals, Jack Eichel is going to lead the way with 45, followed by Crosby's 42, Line A hit 39, Tomas Hurdle had 36, and Johnny Hockey 35. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the LA Kings, who is going to go on and win that Stanley Cup, also getting eliminated in the process. And the Pittsburgh Penguins are the next team eliminated as they defeat the LA Kings in the Stanley Cup finals back-to-back -back Stanley Cup final losses for the Kings. That is tough. But I mean, Pittsburgh is finally up and out of here. It's taken them a long-ass time to do so. I mean, really, last season, their roster was very poor. They were old as shit. They couldn't win any hockey games at the end of the year, so maybe they got something right here, yay. But I mean, finally, the old gang of Malkin, Crosby, and Latang are out of here. They can retire. They can go live wherever the hell they want to. Look, I'm sorry, but I would not want to travel to Pittsburgh. What is there to do? 
go watch a football game, a hockey game. I can do that literally anywhere else. There's Sid the Kid lifting the Stanley Cup for the fourth time in his career as the Pittsburgh Penguins are Stanley Cup champions. Sidney Crosby is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard to Jack Eichel, the Art Ross to Crosby, and the Hart also to Crosby. Eric Carlson is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing also to Crosby, and the Con Smite to Ricard Raquel, the Vesna to Robin Leonard, and the Selkie is going to go to also Sidney Crosby. He had a hell of a season. The San Jose Sharks are going to be the best team in the NHL this season. That is wild. Followed by the Arizona Coyotes, the Red Wings, and the LA Kings. Vegas did not even make the playoffs. Logan Couture is going to lead the NHL in points with 100. Followed by Johnny Hockey's 97, Dylan Larkin 92, and Clayton Keller 89. Now for goals, Anze Kobitar is going to lead the way with 47. Followed by Larkin's 42, Voracek 39, and Couture 28. And in the Stanley Cup Final, we have the highly anticipated matchup that is San Jose versus Arizona. I don't think anybody has ever said that literally ever. And the San Jose Sharks have gone all the way, winning their very first Stanley Cup in franchise history as they defeat the Arizona Coyotes. They are also going to be eliminated in the process from the NHL. And boys, we are almost through the entire video now. We've eliminated most of the NHL at this point. Not a lot of teams left, but the best team that is left is probably Vegas. I'm surprised they're not off the board yet because you are going to see your team lift the Stanley Cup here in NHL 23. There is Logan Couture lifting it for the very first time for the San Jose Sharks in his career and in franchise history, so hats off to them. All right, so the Vegas Golden Knights are going to finish first in the NHL. Only seven teams left, followed by the Detroit Red Wings, the LA Kings, and Columbus. Dylan Larkin is going to lead the way for points with 91, followed by Mark Stone's 86, Johnny Hockey 83, Buchnevich 80, and Line A 77. Now for goals, Line A is going to have the most at 43, followed by Kuba Leaks 39, Jack Eichel had 34, and Dylan Larkin's 34. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have Columbus versus Detroit. Let's see who goes on and gets eliminated from the NHL next. And the Columbus Blue Jackets have gone on to win their very first Stanley Cup in their franchise's history as they defeat the Red Wings in the Stanley Cup final. And they are the next team gone, boys. They've been eliminated. We are down to now six teams in the NHL, the final six, not the original six. But I mean, Columbus is one of the worst teams in the NHL currently, so I'm not that surprised how low they are. And here comes their captain, Bruce Jenner, the member of the Kardashian family, coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the very first time in his career. Kind of stuttered there, but that's okay. But regardless, it's also the very first time in franchise history, so... Hats off to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Mark Stone is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard to Patrick Laine, the Art Ross to Dylan Larkin, and the Hart also to Mark Stone, even though Vegas missed the playoffs. Shea Theodore is going to win the Norris, the Lady Bing to Johnny Hockey, and the Con Smite to Patrick Laine. The Vesna is going to go to Vili Husso, and the Selkie is going to go to Anze Kopitar. Now, the Vegas Golden Knights are going to finish first in the NHL, winning 51 games, followed by the LA Kings, the St. Louis Blues, and the Chicago Blackhawks making the playoffs for the the very first time. Dylan Larkin is going to lead in goals with 36 and points with 87. Followed by Anze Kopitar's 85, Kevin Fiala 81, and Mark Stone 80. And for goals, he was tied with Anze Kopitar. They would each have 36 apiece. Followed by Jack Eichel's 34 and Buchnevich 31. And in the Stanley Cup final with the Chicago Blackhawks versus the LA Kings, let's simulate and see who goes on to win the Stanley Cup. And the LA Kings are the next team to be eliminated from the NHL as they defeat the Chicago Blackhawks. Blackhawks in the Stanley Cup final. It was not even close. I mean, I have no idea how Chicago even made the playoffs, let alone the Stanley Cup final, but they got here. They couldn't get it done. LA is gone. It's taken LA a long ass time to be out of here. I honestly thought that LA would have won a Stanley Cup way sooner than they actually did because in real life, honestly, their roster is not that bad. It's pretty decent, but I don't even know what I'm saying at this point, boys. But regardless, there is Anze Kobitar lifting the Stanley Cup for the third time in his career as he's already got two with LA and now he has a third with LA in NHL 23. All right, so my plan has definitely not worked as LA is going to finish as the best team in the NHL. Even though I removed every single player that was on their roster, they're still going to have them in franchise mode. So I guess I'm just going to have to simulate until somebody else wins the Stanley Cup. So we have San Jose, or actually St. Louis, my bad, Vegas and Arizona in the playoffs. Pavel Buchnevich is going to lead the NHL in scoring with 82 points, followed by Anze Kopitar, 78, Drew Doughty, 78, and Jack Eichel, 75. And for goals, Eichel is going to lead the way with 37, followed by Kopitar's 36, Larkin, 31, and Brandon Saad had 29 goals. 
And in the Stanley Cup Final, we have the Arizona Coyotes versus the St. Louis Guns. I mean the St. Louis Blues, my bad. And the St. Louis Blues are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup as they beat the Arizona Coyotes in the Stanley Cup Final, their second Stanley Cup in franchise history. They won one back in 2019. But here they are. The next team that has been eliminated from the NHL is St. Louis. And sadly, the Stanley Cup is going to have to be raised in a high school hockey rink. Of course, we're in Arizona. And here comes their assistant captain, now actual real captain in real life, Braden Shen, lifting the Stanley Cup for the second time in his career as St. Louis has gone all the way and has won the Stanley Cup. All right, boys. So now what I'm going to do is since we have four teams left that have not won a Stanley Cup during the video, instead of doing a season simulation, we are now just going to do playoff simulations. There's no need for a whole season of basically only four teams in the NHL, and then it'll be three, two, and one. You get the point. So the final four are Vegas, Arizona, Chicago, and Detroit. Three of these are very predictable, but Vegas still being here is absolutely wild. So let's see who goes on and is the next team to get eliminated from the NHL. And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Vegas Golden Knights versus the Detroit Red Wings. Let's see who goes on and wins that Stanley Cup. And finally, the team that actually won the Stanley Cup in real life in the Vegas Golden Knights are finally going to go on and win it here in NHL 23. It has taken them far too long to get here, but I guess better late than last because it would have been pretty embarrassing if the Stanley Cup winner is going to be the last team to win a Stanley Cup, right? But luckily for them, it's not going to happen as they defeat Detroit in the Stanley Cup final. And here comes their captain Mark Stone coming to collect the Stanley Cup for technically the second time in his career as they did win in real life this year and now they have finally done it in NHL 23. The Vegas Golden Knights are Stanley Cup champions. All right, boys, now we are down to the final three. We have Arizona, Detroit, Chicago, and some shitty European hockey team that I just threw in there. Hopefully, they do not upset Chicago. That would be very embarrassing, but... And in the Stanley Cup final, we have the Arizona Coyotes versus the Chicago Blackhawks. Let's see who goes on and wins the Stanley Cup. And the Chicago Blackhawks are going to do it. They are going to defeat the Arizona Coyotes in the Stanley Cup final in five games, and they will not finish as the worst team in NHL 23. Honestly, I'm surprised by that if I were to pick a team it would either be Arizona or Chicago and this is Chicago's very first Stanley Cup since 2015 the Kane and Taves era so I mean the Betsy show will be here shortly but Jonathan Taves will get one last run I guess you could say with the Stanley Cup one last summer whatever it is as he's gonna lift it for the Chicago Blackhawks as they are Stanley Cup champions and are not the worst team in NHL 23. And the Arizona Coyotes are gonna do it as they are not gonna finish as the worst team in NHL 23. That would be the Detroit Red Wings as they beat them in six games in the Stanley Cup final and are gonna lift a Stanley Cup on home ice in this high school hockey rink. That is crazy. I did not think Detroit was gonna be the worst team in the game, but they are. I mean, this video literally proves that somehow Arizona is going to win a Stanley Cup before Detroit. That is sad, man. An original six team going down to the goddamn Arizona Coyotes. There's Lost and Krause coming to lift the Stanley Cup. They don't even have a captain as Arizona is the second worst team in the game, but they are not last. And that is going to do it for this video, boys. The Detroit Red Wings are going to finish as the worst team in NHL 23. Honestly, I thought Arizona or Chicago would have taken it, but Detroit doesn't have that great of a roster, so I guess so. And goddamn, this is taking a long ass time to do probably going to be my longest video on my channel by far if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this i wanted to go out with nhl 23 with a bang and we've done it boys this video is probably going to be like 40 minutes long it took a long ass time to do i appreciate you guys supporting me all the way through nhl 23 now we're off to nhl 24 which is less than a week away so i'm hyped you guys are probably hyped as well i can't wait we got a lot of banger ideas in store all right so for the last time in NHL 23. Thank you all for watching and until next time, don't be silly. Wrap your willy. Also, see you guys in NHL 24.